you. Can you give me another one? No. Is it too heavy? Well guys, this is probably gonna be the very last episode of the chicken coop build. I think this is episode number nine or something like that, but I think this is kinda gonna be the grand finale. I'll probably take all the footage that I've got and do like a full build type episode at some point. Those videos seem to do pretty good. But today we're gonna do some final touches on the chicken coop. I've got some pressure treated fence pickets right here and we're going to build a gate for the fence and I'm also going to take some boards and put some shutters on the windows to keep the place a little less drafty in the winter time so let's go ahead and get started and see what we can get done So now that I look at this, I really don't like it. It obstructs my view from the front into the chicken yard back there. So I think what I'm going to do instead is move it right here. Can you take that stick out? Uh, I don't know how to. Here, let me. All right, now I'll take it out. How about that? It's a gate. What do you think? Yeah. Hey, man, what happened? What's wrong? How do I get out of here? How'd you get in? Some kind of a kid trap. Must be some kind of a kid trap. It worked. I caught a kid. Oh. 
I think that turned out really, really well. It swings free. I'm probably gonna have to clear out some of that brush down at the bottom so it'll swing a little bit better, but it swings free. It latches just perfectly fine. It looks a little bit goofy right here where I had to attach flat hinges to a round post. And this is a little crooked too. That's really unavoidable. Really not my best work as far as getting these posts straight. You can see that they're very, very crooked with this one right here that the fences or the gate is mounted to is just off from the rest of them, but I'm not gonna lose a lot of sleep over that. Let's get some shutters on the house. Chickens didn't like that. It's rustic. I know this is kind of a really weird camera angle here, but I wanted to show y'all kind of what my idea was on the latch and stuff on these shutters. So I'm gonna just take some standard screen door latches basically, and I'm gonna put a couple of them or put one of them right here. Then I'm gonna put another over here so that once I open it just like this, I'll be able to latch it back there so the wind doesn't, doesn't uh, slam it shut. So now what I want to do is just come over here and match this latch up with where it should screw into the wall. And uh, I'll just stick that there. And that way this side will have a way to not get slammed shut when the wind's blowing. We'll do the same for the other side. It's a latch. See? Now the wind won't blow the shutter shut. Pretty cool, huh? All right, and now we can do the same thing on this side. So I wanna move on to this window in the front here and I've kinda of got a special problem right here. This window is 35 and a half inches wide and I wanted just make just to make one single shutter that would open up this direction towards that way, but I can't do that because up there, that piece of lathing, the door is gonna hit the piece of lathing before it goes flat against the, against the front of the house here. And I can't open it this direction because it'll interfere, interfere with this door. So what I'm going to have to do is have two shutters right here. One of them is going to be a little bit narrower than the other one. This one right here will open until it comes to about right here. And the other one will open until it's flat against that, that over there. So I think we should be able to manage it. Not, not too big of a deal. I'm kind of taking the easy way out here. This board is about 13 inches wide. So I'm just going to put one single board on that right side and that'll be fine.
So this one right here, y'all probably saw it didn't turn out so great. So this right here has got to be trimmed out and there's, it's really not too bad of a gap up there. And I've still got to do several other things to this, uh, to this window. But unfortunately I've run out of time for today. So I'm going to call it quits for the day and probably call this video quits as well. I'm sorry, this is not quite, I always like to try to complete a project before I post a video, but y'all kind of get the picture. I'm just putting the shutters on. I've got one shutter left on one window to go and, uh, That'll be pretty much it. There's of course a few little things that need to be done if they'll ever get done. But anyway, we're getting really close here. Something else that I wanted to show y'all before I end this video right here is I think would be a really, really good place to have water access. I'm planning on running water out here, which is really kind of a necessity for a chicken coop. And I think right here on this post would really be a perfect place to have a standpipe and a hose, uh, maybe up here. Probably up here would be best. I don't know. We'll figure that out. That just seems like a seems like a great place for that once that once water gets out here. And these shutters right here, measurement wise, worked out pretty much perfect. This one hits right here, almost to that door frame. And this one right here, I mean, forget about this part that needs to be trimmed. But this one right here doesn't hit anything up there. All it needs is some latches and a little bit of trimming and I think we'll be good. But right now I'm about to go get the grill going. Yesterday was National Double Cheeseburger Day and we got a late start on our celebration. So we're gonna go ahead and celebrate that tonight and while the grill's going and doing those, see if I can get some of that junk cleaned up behind me. So I appreciate y'all watching this video and I will see y'all on the next one. <laughs> so did you boys have fun today? Yeah. I did. Hmm? He had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun.